Hello, the other day one of my uh, viewers said, how do you get this tray off of this wearing uh, meat slicer here? And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you how to clean this thing because you always got all these little specks of food and stuff stuck down in there after you use it. And you have to take it apart to uh, make sure you unplug it before you do anything to it. But then you got to uh, take all this stuff apart before you can clean it. You know, that's why that's why you don't see a lot of lazy people that has meat slicers. Because either they die real young from food poisoning or they just don't use it because they won't clean it up. But anyway, I thought I could show this button back here. But anyway, it's got a button right in behind it. And you have to push and slide it at the same time to get this thing to come out. And it is really aggravating to do. I wish I'd make an easier way to do it because even I know how it's done and it's still aggravating to do. But anyway, that's the little. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it. That's the button right there that you have to push, and you see it's sort of spring loaded like that. And so you push up and, and move it one way to the other, and that makes it go into this slot right here. And it's really aggravating. You know, because you really just have to get the knack of it before you can do it real good. But anyway, now after you take those two pieces off, then you get up here to your blade and you push in on, let's see, push in on this right here somewhere. I can't see because I'm trying to do it backwards. Oh yeah, push in right here and then you turn it clockwise. So you would think you'd turn it counterclockwise, but turn it clockwise. It just comes right out like that. Now be very careful with this blade when you handle it because it is sharp and it will cut you just like it cuts through the meat. You know, and so anyway, you got to lay all that aside. And then you've got to look at all this. All this right in here. You know, because all that is uh, food that's left over out of that and you can't leave it there. <laughs> That's for sure. So anyway, now we'll go get started cleaning on this thing. Okay, now get your hot water going here. Put the chopper in. And go ahead and put this stuff in the so You don't drop and break. Uh, everybody uses their own brand, so. I use this ivory here. So. A dish rag got. Now most of this stuff is dishwasher safe. So you can do it in the dishwasher. But around here, we are the dishwasher, so hey. This is the way we do it. Make sure you get down all the little nooks and crannies here, because it's all got to be cleaned out. Okay, then you rinse the suds off of it real good. Put it in your dish right strainer there. And here's your tray that the meat sets on. I'll make sure that's clean all the way around. Top and bottom. Rinse that off real good. But not least down here is the blade, and like I said, be real careful with this blade because it is sharp and it will hurt you if you let it. Make sure you get around all the gear and everything here. It's all stainless steel and plastic, so it shouldn't hurt anything to wash it very well. All right.
Okay, now. Set that in the dish drainer here and let it dry for a couple of minutes while I do this other stuff over here. Now this is the fun part here of cleaning because this is really a bear to get to. Because so you just have to take your rag and, and start going over it and over it and over it and over it. Like I say, you don't see many lazy people that's got a meat slicer unless they've got somebody to clean it for them. Either because they either die of food poisoning or they don't clean the machine good or they use it one time and they say, I ain't messing with that again. So, and you know, you can open it up as wide as it will go. And that's the only fault I have with this thing. It's, you can't get more than about a half inch on it. That's about as thick as you can make your cuts. And I really don't like that. I wish it'd go up to an inch. But I've looked and looked and looked and I can't find one that'll go to an inch. For some reason or another, without you pay big bucks for it. This one here was big bucks enough, so. Have to keep going over it till you, till you make sure you've got everything. You don't want anything left. Nothing even looks like a little piece of meat. You gotta get it off. And you wanna move your, uh, your gauge back and forth so you can make sure you got an under it and all that stuff. Now see that looks, that don't look too bad right there. I don't see a speck of anything on it. Of course as long as you do this every time it's not that much trouble to keep up. But if you, you let it get behind a little bit one time, then the next time it's a little worse, and then a little worse, and a little worse, and you go throw it out in the yard because you can't clean it. Now, that part's done. Okay, now this next step you may or may not want to do. Now I've got just a little bit of water in the bottom of this uh, sink here. And I'm going to take and pour bleach in it. Just regular Clorox. Just like that. And of course it's diluted down just a little bit, you know. But now I'm going to take a paper towel get it all good and wet and we'll take this paper towel now and just wipe it down now it's got that bleach on it like I say you may or may not want to do this part but you know if you just want to be extra careful about it let me see it looks pretty good and we'll put it back in the dish drainer here and we'll get this tray here to meet sets on we'll put it down in here and wash it real good with the same solution turn it around and around and all about Wipe that down good.
Okay, now, last but not least, the thing that holds your meat here. See, all, this, all these things have got technical names to them. I don't know what they are, though, so I just say the thing, this is the thing that holds your meat when you slice it back and forth. So, now you know. <laughs> You gotta be careful with this thing here. You start rubbing on this thing with your hands, it's gonna get you. <laughs> okay, now get a fresh paper towel here and wipe that down good. You have to be careful, even the way you wipe this with a paper towel, because it'll just destroy it if you don't. And I really recommend you use rubber gloves and stuff if you're going to be messing with bleach like this. Because it will mess your hands up if you're not careful. Okay, now all right, now I'm going to uh, take the bleach and just wet my little paper towel here. And we'll wipe all this down pretty good with it. Like this right here. Wipe it in there real good. All this in here. Now this right here is really the only thing that touches your meat when you're slicing it. But still, you go ahead and wipe down everything. Especially, and I like to wipe this tray down here that holds the other tray on. And get it like that. And now, if I get that one little speck off there, now, I think this meat slicer is clean and so I'm ready to assemble it, put it back in the box and put it up. Now the first thing I like to do is to put, the, put the blade back on. So in order to do that, take hold of your little tab right here and put it back over here. You look over here and see where your slot's at. Looks like it's on the side right there. And so you slide that in there like that. And then you turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. You know, you, you always hear loosey goosey to the left, you know, and righty tighty to the right. Well, this is the opposite, you know. When you tighten it, you turn it left, and when you take it off, you turn it right. And you push down that little tab right there. Now, this is what a lot of people have trouble with, including me. It's getting this little thing back in there. And you put it right where that slot is and you push it you push it forward and you hear it click like that. Let me see if I can get it back out. Yeah, now that time it worked real easy. So, but anyway, you put it right down in the groove area and push it forward and hear it click like that. And now it's on there. And now the only thing left to do is put your little doover back on here that holds the meat. And I always like to put my guide up here all the way to the front. And that way when I get ready to when I get ready to use it again, I always like to wipe this off and when I'm wiping it like that, I'm not hitting that blade. So it's just something for you to think about. So anyway, that's it. That's how to clean this wearing uh, meat slicer here. And I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you watch more of my videos and hope you come back and see me real soon because I really enjoy making them for you. And uh, if you can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. And y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.